All right, we are back in the Hollow Hall. All right, we were in here making some progress. Do I still have my mats? I do. All right. So let's get back to work on uh, building out our. What did I call this? Banquet hall. Welcome in. All right, so we go two in. Then I need one of these. That layer, and I need it too deep. Okay. Nope, nope. A little too far. Four and five. I heard that, Wolfie. Wait, let me make sure I'm in the right spot. Okay. Two, three, four. Yep. We may be all right light-wise. I mean, obviously, I got a bunch of that stuff around brightening it up. But we may be all right once I get these built. I say put four of them in here. This will be the banquet hall. I'm thinking this way we'll push out and do like a little kitchen. Some kind of a, a cookery... cookery do type of thing. And one level deeper. No, no, no. Actually, yes, yes, yes. There we go. Alright. So we got our two deep there. Very good. Now we need to go to this and switch to this. to be like that. Alright, so we're almost there. Actually, let's do this just in case so I don't accidentally block off some of the stuff I just built. <laughs> I mean, it works. <laughs> Not as stupid, but it works. Well, I gotta be careful how high I'm doing that. End up punching through the floor of the world up, up top.
Aha, my roof doesn't go all the way over. I shall need to fix that. Okay, back over to this. We're still on the correct piece. Um, no, we need to keep going with the ceiling, and I'm not high enough for that. Uh, let's see. How high do I want this? I need it to be about maybe that high. Yeah. Something like that. Now, oh no, I'm already on the right one. Except this is going to be too wide, so let's do this one. Am I still not high enough? No, I am. Okay. Alright, let's flip back down. Should be able to do this without causing any damage. Alright, so all the way to the edge there, perfect. Do some more chunky to chunk. About there. Right now, let's go to that. This should be good enough. Just enough to get us a solid all the way around. That's good. That's good. That's good. Get rid of that because I don't need it. Get rid of the bottoms. I don't need it either. Alright. Now let's finish this. Take a look at her. It is a little weird having the piece that's just in the middle. What I might do, connect that to this one over here. Oh, it's too tall. Uh, well, look at me. And then put it so that the... What am I trying to think? Say here. Okay. That didn't work. I want it to go under, so I get a little bit more step bump in my step. There we go. Um, bump it up a little bit towards the ceiling in the middle, and that can be a chandelier. Even if I have to make a chandelier, like build one out of pieces or something, We can figure something out to build one. I kind of like that idea. So it'd be this. Instead of coming down four, let's try two. And then it comes down four. And then we'll put something, chandelier-wise, right there. 
I think that'll work. I think that'll look nice, too. It can't be the candle chandelier. They're way, way too dim. So it definitely can't be that. Okay. All right, so that's good. I think I'll take it just as a structural piece at the end as well. I think that'll look nice. Yeah, yep, that works. I like that. So it's like it's a, a beam down the center of the wall. I mean, I'm half tempted to bring it all the way down. Like it's a big support, and then we could use here at the end the columns. Okay, so if we're going to do that, let's go ahead and bring it down all the way to its four. And then we'll have it sit on a column. We'll have it do that. And then we center that piece. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I need some light back here. Even if it is temporary. There we go. Okay, back to work. Doo -doo -doo. Work never ends. Now, we're going to go here. Get it, get it, there we go. Sweet, so that's that box. What do you mean cannot build there? What the hell was that about? That was weird. Freaky little dicky going on over there. are getting ourselves going. Can I wait, get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Nope. <laughs> oh, so I thought...
All right. Get rid of those. We we'll definitely need to go back a little bit further before we put a wall. Maybe we go the same distance, which is, is it one of these? It's one short, and these are what, four blocks each? Four by four? So, that's going to be two blocks. I need to go one more block if I'm making the room somewhat square-ish. Squarical. good there. That's good mostly. A little bit more here. Alright, so we need to go one more block over and then come down. Let's do... should I do with this one? Probably be alright. Yep, figured that was going to happen. Eventually, at least. Your road runs out, sir. You shall not pass. Yep, can't see. There we go. I'm sure I'm going to be going that way more, so might as well cinch it up there. Okay. That sure looks like four to me. Too far, I can't even tell. Oh, it's three right here. It is four. One. Here. Let's get a bigger, bigger jump, bigger look. This is one, two, three, four, and three right there. So I do need it to be four. I think we're okay. I think I can still get it to four and not have a problem with more stone. If I go up high enough, I can. Because it's technically four and then the wall on the outside of four. Okay, now I gotta chunk more stone.
I don't know how close I am to that go to the uh, outside ground, but I'm sure the answer is uh, close enough because that goat is like right up there somewhere. He keeps keeps batting at me. Let's see if that does a body good. Was correct, but I need to go over one. Okay. Yeah, that is correct there. Up just one. Welcome in. Now, so we've got all that. We got our big cross beam, which we are gonna put chandelier on. And then we're gonna do something back here in the back. I don't know what we're gonna do back here yet. All right, so. Rough outline of our banquet hall. I'll still need to go get up here and do that side. And then this is going to be a column of this material. And what do I want to do for a column? Okay, that's going to be in the way. How do I want to do a column? Maybe a three wide. Alright, so I need to go back up. So what if I did... I'm too damn close to this. I just move this whole damn thing. There we go. So if I did this, oh, wrong one, this one. And if I did a three wide, kind of like a saddle, like it sits in there with like a saddle. I don't know how else to explain it. I like that. I like that. I think that works really well. Part of me wants to bring it out too, but I think I'll go ahead and leave that for now. It is uh, working for me, and I think I'll just keep plodding along. At some point I'll go into that section because that's going to be where the kitchen's going.
Wait a minute, didn't the ceiling not go over all the way? Oh, I fixed that, okay. Alright, let's get down to this. Stone be gone. Okay. What's up, Jasper? Sorry if I didn't notice it for a little bit. You haven't missed too much. I've only been going for 30 minutes or so. I was working, I, so I got these last two pieces. Decided to do a, like a cross beam. I'm going to do some kind of a chandelier from that spot. And I think that that's real nice. It'll give it a good glow, and then we'll accent with these kinds of things. So I'll put another beam column, excuse me, over here. We're going to have a way to go through that direction to, I don't know yet, something. Back here, we're going to have a kitchen, which I think I want to do something like this, maybe. Let's see. So we did something where... I'm just making this up right now, but imagine... You have something like that. It doesn't have to go up all the way, and it can be decorative, have a decorative piece in it. And the kitchen staff comes around it to come out and service. So the the higher ups, the the fancy guests that are in here dining, don't see the servants of, and the kitchen area if they don't need to, or maybe something like that. I don't know. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, but we'll we'll see. You know what? As tall as these things are, I think they would lend to the the hollow hall brazier that hangs off the wall really well. It is wrong way. It is green, but I think it lends for a really good size because of how big these things are. Putting these guys up on that wall and put it on both sides will bring us a ton of light. I need to find a spot in there for, uh, I mean, there'll be plenty, but find a spot in there for the big, big pot belly braziers, because god dang, they're big. It'll be fun, though. Ow. So, these guys, now that we have this nice, yeah, yeah, see, I like that. Now, do we want to go up and make it look like it's, right, like it's so heavy that it has to actually mount to the beam. Yep. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, that's 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 perfect. It's literally so heavy it has to have additional support in the column ahead. Nice. Alright, that works. So that will take two of those, one on this side over here, wherever I don't know, about right here will make for a really bright space that we can accent with the just regular candlelight. I still need to figure out how I'm going to do that thing. I might just cover it up. Okay. Now, um, we need to get this way a little ways. Let's just do this. Are you kidding me? Wow! Ran out of block. Okay. Apparently, I've been. I just went through five thousand block in there, and redoing all that. Before I got into here, I was working on the the trailer for my Halloween contest build. We don't have to make a trailer. I'm just making a trailer because I'm a weirdo and that's what I like doing. Wait a minute. Do we else we need? Might as well top off over here. I'll be using a lot. Um, yeah, w there's no reason to make it. They, they're only judging it off of pictures. However, and it's kind of what I do, so I might as well do it. And I'm having issues because he's... Man, the camera... I, I really, really hope they give us some love to the camera soon because it is pretty crappy. 
the problem I'm having right now. So one of the shots that I'm making, one, it's a bunch of them, but so if I go to this, you're just going to have to pretend that I'm high enough. So imagine here, right? And you would be a CCTV camera. I know it's in Shroud, we don't have CCTV cameras, but there is a way in DaVinci Resolve to make it look like it's CCTV. So I take the shot, you know, I'd come out here, hide my HUD, and I scroll like this. You see what the camera's doing right now? Did you see how it pushed out to the right a little bit right there? It's because my physical character is moving a little bit, causing, I don't know what you want to call, the, the attachment point of the camera, the back end of the camera, to move its location. So I'm not getting a smooth pan one way to the other because the back side of the camera is moving too and it's driving me crazy. So that's something I gotta figure out <clears throat> so that I can get it looking real nice. Uh, what was I doing with this one? I was doing this, wrong, this, there, and there. All right, back to chonking. So I don't have to do everything everywhere, because I'm not going in every direction. It's not like I'm going to chew up all the way to the end everywhere. So I just need to think about how am I going to do going forward, and what am I going forward to? Is from the mess hall, are we going into living quarters? Are we doing some stairs downward and running another another bridge across? And are we going to do a broken bridge like the other one? That's a good good thought. Okay, so Man, I wish we could do 45s then. All right, so when I'm starting here, the camera's attached to this wall, and as I turn, the camera reattaches to this wall, essentially. Yeah, I, I probably should get a... Well, here, let's take a look at an even wall here. Let's see if it does it here, too. Just did it a little bit, but not too much. That, of course, is the, the problem with a wall is... Let's see if I do it with my facing it. So it, ju it, it just janked a little bit right here, right at this spot. But yes, it is, it is better. It's, it's less... It's not doing that move like it, like it does here and here. So that does actually make sense that it's the camera when it's occluded by this wall it's attached to the wall then as I turn it reattaches itself to this wall and that's why it slides oh shit I haven't tried sitting down let's uh let's see what that does let's see if I can do it in the corner all well here let's do it like not totally in the corner cor oh, wrong damn block All right, let's try this. Oh, look at you. Sitting down does work better. Well, shit, okay. Well, that helps. That'll help me do uh, some recordings. I took the recordings already and was not that happy with them, so I gotta redo it. I've also, I, and I asked on the Discord, no one seems to know. I went and, so, <laughs> this just drives me crazy. So you go to auto, uh, to the sound settings. Voices are not the NPC characters. Voices are us. It's just the noise we make and us go, uh, when we jump and, you know, stuff like that. You would think they would tie that to the NPCs. NPCs are under game. 
but so is all that ambient you're hearing right now, like the birds chirping and and a crow crowing, cawing or whatever it does every now and again. So I went in, I turned all of these down, turned this to max. Funny enough, too, you have to have voices on even though this has nothing to do with their their uh, sound. And I turned that up so that I could get the collector. I get a bunch of his sayings because I'm going to put that in the video in different places. Uh, there's, I'm going to try to do one like jump scare like thing uh, in it at some point to see uh, yeah, you know like what kind of effect I can get from it we'll see if I can make that work let's see we go yeah but like well we only need to be right there All right, so we did this with two pieces. No, I took that back. There was three coming out. And we came all the way down. All right, so three, and that me that puts the wall here against that. So I still need to chunk some more out. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, so that's all good there and there. I'll get that later. So we need now... This. Yep, and we're already there. Just like that. Let's we'll snap to it. Yeah, not easily. Not at all. Okay, fine. Don't snap. See if I care. Okay, we're all the way to that end. Very good, plenty of out of my way. Now let's start this here before I go down because I know I'm going to need the height. Yep, I can't reach it. Alrighty, perfect. For right now, we're just going to pave this over. I'll figure out what to do with it later. And I need to figure out where I'm going to put that. So 
So we'll figure the door out later as well. Okay. So we get another one of these. Do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be great. And it, and it puts the, the green up high so that we can have the candlelight down low. And I think that that'll look much better. I wonder now, what's it like if we remove these? Yeah, no, I think that's going to work. We got this nice high seat. I still have some kind of a chandelier I could do too. Hmm. I can't do the big boys. They're just too, too big. Do I even have them out here to look at? No. I, mean, I could do one of those by hiding the arm in the stone. Maybe. Oh, bright. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's take a look. I don't see how it in any way that that's going to fit. It's going to stick down so far. Probably stick all the way to the floor. Unless I just go up there and go up, up, up as far as I can get it without breaching the ground above it. And these... You know what? I haven't tried Crib Chandelier, to be honest. I'll take it with me just in case. I don't see how it's possible, but we'll, we'll see. Kind of like the idea of burying this in a tabletop. Let's see if uh, let's test it right here. See if I can even do it. So that has to go down for me to do it, which means I might be able to do it. So how many does it have to go down? One block. Okay. So let's try something. Alright, so put it down one block. But put this on there because I need this there first, I think, in order to be able to get it on there. No, no, no. No, I want you up here. I really need you to like that so I can get to that hole. Man, it's not going to let me get to it, is it? If I do it this way, it does. Come on, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> okay, I might do something like that. down there on, on one or more of the tables because you could you can imagine like there's like food around it or something that'll that'll work really well it'll be a cool look too all right so now we've got that idea figured out let's see what we can do with these stupidly tall chandeliers first off it's so little. Um, okay, first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. There's no way that I can go up high enough. This ceiling is almost at that ceiling, and that's like from the actual ground above. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm happy we have these big bastards, but boy, they're really, really big. Alright, let's try the uh, totally unimpressive... God, that's so unimpressive. <laughs> Uh, compared with those things right there, it looks almost silly. 
I'm re I'm ten I think I'm just gonna get one of those and bury it in the ceiling in the uh, stone because yeah it's, so you just have the chain coming down that is not working for me it's funny though okay <laughs> let's go fix this uh... okay so that needs I can probably just take out let's see Okay, and then if I take this, oh, the reticle's way down low. Oh no 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 no! I think we I think we I think we got the right idea. Oh shit! I think we got it. That's even centered. I think we got it. That's, yep, that's, there you go. No best viewers for you. Go away, spammers. Great, that works. Gives us even more light. And looks like a chandelier. Nice. Alright, so we got that. We gotta think what we're gonna do for a kitchen entrance. Do we wanna have a kitchen this way? Hmm. Cause we're gonna go, yeah, let's do a kitchen. Let's make the kitchen a dead end. Let's do a six wide. Maybe a little bit taller. Hmm. No. I think we're all right. This will be much more down to earth in size. All right, so do I, do I wanna do some kind of a relief wall? See how big this is. I kind of like that idea. Okay, so where are we? I guess plenty of space to go around. Then we take this. Where my hammer go? Take this, and we do a little bit of a uh, shenanigans. Nope, I want you over it. Come on. You want to do it. I can tell you want to do Oh, if I do it this way, is it going to stick? Well, here, let's just mark the points. Oh, that's interesting. It's off. No, it isn't. It's the same. Okay. Okay. Probably should have marked the height too. Uh, I want to say it was that. Like that, I want to say. Mm. 
Now, let's find out if I was right. Yeah, I like that. And then we could do like a, a um, I might even get the bigger table, a serving table. Like this could have a bunch of dishes and a ver let's go check out the other table. Dishes and, and um, I, man, I, I hope we get the ability to place cooked meals and things like that. Like, you know, this uh, glow soup. I, I realize the builder's companion can do a lot of that stuff. I just mean in the base game, I hope we get the ability to do that. Maybe that's a uh, um, creative mode type of uh, concept. Here, get that out of there. One, two, three, four. Let's get more of those. Get some of those chairs also. This one. Yep. Because, like, you know, there's not that much we can really decorate with. They did add more, and I'm happy that they keep adding stuff, and that's all cool, but I just, I, I want more. I always want more. That's that, yep, that's it right there. Okay, so this jobby can be, like, these guys come out and use this as their prep and come over and serve the, the various guests Yeah, I think these are going to do great accent because it's already bright enough. And then the various just candle light candles will do really well with the look, the aesthetic. Okay, so also, I'm going to do my little signature seating area. It's not really a seating area, but it's something that I designed that I really like. You can overlap these so that the arm, the corner of that and the leg of the chair match up perfectly and it looks like it's one unit. As if it's just part of it. It looks really nice. Just like it's a, you know, whole part of the shebang. Do do chair. Well, let me zoom in more. There we go. We'll put maybe some kind of a lantern-like thing there on each of those. So the question then is, should it be these for our tables? And since that's a big old servant thing. Oh, there's another option. I bring that table out. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. And this is where the king sits. Assuming there's a king in here. Because the king's center of attention, right? So so there's going to be a throne or two back here. And the king sits here. And yep, that's how we're going to do it. So then... I think we would do it this way. So that there's plenty of space for them. Maybe we'll mix it up. We'll have a long one. Come on, get it just right. No spanks you, we don't need cheap viewers. And this will be more um, bench seating. 
since there isn't going to be ways out from this side, but there is going to be a door probably here. So there'd be less tables over here, which makes sense. But I need another one because that's not enough. There'd be like... Can't have, have any that are ahead of the king. Well, I guess we'll have to just use a big one over here. What the hell are we going to put all of that shit over there then? Well, I got two small ones. Two medium size. That'll work. Have a little bit of space. There we go. Just come in. We'll put some like... Some kind of big mosaic carpet or something here. Rug, I mean, here. All right, what else? I feel like, okay, where would we do? They, well, I think they would have, whoops. They would have it re, uh, right behind them because again, we want to bring attention to the king. That's starting to give it a nice little warm glow. And I think we should do something like this. On the other side as well. Putting it against the red is helping with the glow. I like that. Alright, how many more of these do I have? Just the one. We can do the regular candles. Candlesticks, candelabra type things there. Um, okay, let's stop with that then. We need tapestries too, of course. We're going to have tapestries and banners and all that good stuff. What's that noise? I don't know. Hmm, question is, can we do the big ones or not? Get all that junk out of my way. Try a couple of that, because I don't know what we're going to be able to fit. Do one broken one just in case we can fit those uh, rugs. Hmm. Feel like the king and the queen would be a big fur rug or the fancy carpet maybe. We could try to do uh Okay, so let's we do that. Let's see what we can come up with, some kind of a mosaic. Okay. So do I feel am I, am I feeling this for king and queen? It seems like a bit much. Maybe one each. And then I'll get the chair. I, that's where I forgot the chairs. Alright, so the idea here 
if I can make it happen. Alright, so we put these here. Oh, they're the same. I thought they were smaller. Bummer. Well, let's do it like this then. Damn it. I really hate the camera. That didn't quite turn out like I thought it was going to. It's interesting. I don't and I definitely don't love it though. Uh okay. So do the big ones fish good lord. They are ridiculous. I love them. But they're ridiculous. So should we be able to see that? Oh god, they hang all the way through the ground. How do I even get back to it? Get it to pull get back up. We need an undo for placing objects. Maybe maybe we have a broken one. Uh-huh. Here we go. We have a broken one, and then we use the mediums. Giant medium. Yep, mediums are way better. They're still huge. And I still messed it up. God dang. Okay, I gotta get up there and fix those. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> ah, so funny. No, let me up there. Oh, it's because the... Right. Dang it. The one G... The, the thing sticking through it. Alright, let's go... Place it one over here, just so I see my height... Medium giant. Okay, medium. Uh, so we don't want to do one here. Maybe that's that's another one we could do that's broken. Okay, well, if we're going to do that... I feel like they would wreath this, but I could also do stuff like books on there. Alright, so let's see how high I need to go. See, it's like I can't even see to tell... Are you doing it like this? Nope. God, we need a better camera. There you go. Alright, so that's not... Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, medium. It's like clear the hell up there. Okay. And then that one, if I'm going to do it, has to be the broken one. So it makes me wonder, should I do a broke one? Oh, I got a better idea. Nope. Didn't work. Uh, uh, Sweet Tusk. We'll put up Sweet Tusk right over that. With his, uh, his fiery eyes and everything. That's a great idea. No, I, go back to this. Get off of me. Now snapping. <laughs> I 
still not high enough. Uh, it's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we'll do one of the, or a couple of them actually. We could do a couple of the tro- that, yeah, we could do a couple of the trophy heads over there. And that leaves us space for this jobby. Since it is broken anyway. Kind of makes sense there, and then that gives us space to have a door. Which works, yep. So how would we do door? Let's see. Be like maybe just kind of a regular door this time. Just you know, nothing special. Door going that way. And we come back in here and we go into the kitchen. Probably should get some thrones for the uh, king and queen, and we need to get some heads. Do I have any heads on me? No. Let me grab a drink real quick. Welcome in, somebody. I missed. Apologize. All right, let's go get some more supplies. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. That one. Alright, for right now, we're going to put up the large ones. If I have too much stuff on my bags, I'm never going to be able to put anything down. Put any new stuff in it. Alright, I didn't love that anyway. I'll figure something out with that. Da, da, da. The big ones are way, 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 way too big. Those we'll hang on to because they worked great. We'll hang on to the medium. I need more of those. The crypt chandelier is kind of, kind of poopy. It's a little too tiny. And that I got a great idea for, so we're going to leave it. This is way, way too big. We'll keep those. I need more of those. Thank you. And I need these. But that's not all. What else can we do? No. Not the skull one. I think they would have... They might have a couple of these, they might have regular candles, but I don't think they would have skull candles down there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Chairs. We need fancy chairs. Hmm. It's not really the right throne, and that's... I guess it's the... Technically, it's the right throne. Let's do one of these, one of those. I'll deal with chairs later because that's going to be a nightmare. We will need some of these. A little bit more of that. Uh, heads. i figure out what we're going to do for heads. I definitely want to do the uh, sweet tusk. Definitely that.
Let's start with that and see what we come up with. <clears throat> Alright, so if we do... I feel like this should be the centerpiece as big as it is. Then it can be wreathed with... Oh god, they're so little in comparison. Wow. I'm going to have to put like... Cabinets or something. And put something there because that's it's just too that's way too little. Okay, we need to put this on to get my reference. Let's go about that high. Actually, snapping. Yes. All right. Let's do hammer and that block. So is that where I want it? Yeah, I actually want it right now. Where... You jerk. <laughs> I actually want it over one. There and there. Okay. Put this up. I'm going to go about there. pretty tight on it. Come on. Get it right there. Okay. Now, let's see how good we... Well, if I can get it in there, let's see how good we got this. Can I get it between... more. Oh, give me a little bit more. Just give me a little bit right there. We have Sweet Tusk. Alright. Looks good. Uh, so let's, oh yeah, let's do the uh, Thrones. We'll have them sitting back from the table temporarily. in their, like, regal spots where they would be. There we go. We'll just have these... That's a good question. How are they sitting? Yeah, they're fine. Okay. We'll do chairs in the middle, I think. So I'll bring this out just a little bit. I would say on this side it needs to be chairs. No, that looks silly. Grab another. Definitely need some of these. Of course, these guys are going to have the fanciest of the lats. And there might be a couple over here. Let's say we ran out of all of them, so we'll do a... Okay. And then these guys over here... Maybe they're just candles. Okay. And then... Mm, 
Should we do these? Should we do them inside? Closer to the door? And then maybe just a regular candle. There. Alright, so we got a little bit of that going on. Uh, da -da 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 chairs. So the chairs... Because they have to be able to turn around to see the... Actually, there probably wouldn't be any chairs on the inside, would there? So that everybody's looking at the king and queen. So we'll do a little... that number. Okay. And then they would probably have... Oh, I need to fix over here. What do we got going on that? They would probably have, like... I don't know what they would be called. Not servants, but... I mean, yeah, they would be servants, but they would be... Um, snapping off. Thank you. Okay, it's not that. Something's weird. Uh, this way? Okay, well, let's figure out what's going on. Uh, just the corner, I guess. Okay. Uh, they would probably... Oh, God. Vassals? Are they called vassals? You know, they're like at their beck and call. And maybe they, they just kind of sit over here waiting for the... Uh, the king or the queen to be like... Vassal? I, I, I'm probably using that term wrong. Uh, fetch me my spoon or I don't know, whatever. Alright, so it's starting to look a little bit better. I do need to go back into one of them. I think there is one bug missing from under the wall. See, that's what I thought too. Let's try this. Let's big chunky. I think that's what it is right there. It's not going down all the way. Nope, nope, no. Hey, okay. Good good thinking. All right. I think I need to get like two different heads for this side or or three heads for that side, three of the small ones in a like trifecta just to kind of liven it up a little bit. Um, let's see. this make it look any good? Come off the wall. They need to give us a better way to do these against walls. Come on. Turn. No, oh, no, I saw you. I saw you flip. I saw it. I saw you do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't. Nah, okay. I don't like it. This is a decorative piece, maybe? Put it right up against the wall. That could be an interesting decorative piece. Let me see what I can do about that.
let's see, let's do... Okay. And uh, I'll find it. There it is. So then kind of center it on the wall. Bring it in till just... I think it'd be more interesting if it went all the way up, but I don't dislike it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> Alright, let's put our table back. There we go. And let's put our little candle back. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's something to quote-unquote liven it up, make it look like it's not just um, same old, same old, big blank wall. Nope, 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 nope. There. Yeah, damn it. Now it's going to not erase correctly. Let's try this again. Don't mess it up this time. There we go. here. Just like that. Very nice. Alright. So now we got a little bit more of an interesting wall. Uh, minus the fact that these are a little pale, I think that works pretty well. I want to do some shelving back here. I don't know if they're going to be books, but shelving of something. Let's go take a look what we've got upstairs. Just something to change it from being boring. You can always do chests, too. I mean, even if I don't put anything in it, just so it looks cool. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Crude carved. Cupboards make sense. I don't know. I'm not loving the idea of putting these up there. I'll figure that out later. Well, maybe we'll do uh, the Crypt sideboard, which is here. Yeah. That would also keep it from being such a weird, clean line. Let's take two of these and two of these, and we'll just kind of see. Oh, yeah, let's get a couple of heads, too. Um, let's do... So we got this little guy there. Let's do one of these. And well, of course that's bigger. I could have done that instead. That's fine. I think it's fine. Do it. Just doing some little ones, and we'll do that. Huh. 
Man, I hope they give us the ability to actually spawn NPCs. So, normal creative modes, think I like Valheim or anything. Spawn at, get into the tilde, uh, the console, spawn at me, whatever the item code is, if it's a NPC or whatever, and how many you want and what level they are. I hope they give us the ability to do something like that. Uh, let's see. Maybe... There and... There. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I can dig that. Okay. So let's look at these versus those. How about we just go ahead and put two of these. Oh, I'm about backwards. How about we put two of these on this side and we'll put one on the other side and see what we think. Alright, there. Actually, I kind of dig it. And then one of these on this side. Alright. I think that works to keep it from being such a just kind of blank space. Yeah. Minus all the million little bitty details like having plates and everything around, I think this is in pretty good shape. I like the lighting tone, uh, the big steps coming down. I think that works out pretty well. Maybe not have this last piece here. Yep, yeah, that's a little better. So that works pretty nicely. We got a nice, very large banquet hall. I think it's a little too tall at this point, but I'm not. I'm not changing all that. It's not going to happen. Need something to drink. All right, so now the question, so we're already, we're already somewhere to about right there. It's not that much further we can go that direction. What the heck is going on right there? Ref reflection from these or something, maybe? That's crazy if it's actually doing that. It's cool, though. Okay, so instead of a bridge going across, what if we did a balcony? Uh, da -da. All right, for right now, we need light. So yeah, what if we did I need to figure out the center. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I arbitrarily placed those anyway. Not like I can reach it to punch a hole anyway. That was like right there, so how about we check... Let's see what that is. Damn, close. Or part of it. I could use that as part of it. Uh, one more. There we go. Go rock chunking. All right, now let's 
go see where that is. I'm thinking a simple, just just a little like observation. I like I like where it sits. Just a little simple observation thing. Maybe even make it a little more intimate door, a little smaller. I could even put a physical door on it. Put a physical door in it so that it uh, it really has that kind of uh, uh, like castle balcony. I don't know how else to explain it. So then, if we did. We tend to use the redstone when we want to highlight something. Let's do the red around the door frame and do this going out. So we got this. Maybe something just as simple as this. It's going to have to be a little better because I want to uh, accent. Change this to the red. Let's see. I think I want to bring it out. Maybe one block to the side. Make it feel important. Well, that's okay. Well, I'll just make this one go down that far also. Right. <laughs> yeah. This will give me a better vantage point. I can finish that. So I definitely want this thicker. Oh, I wonder if I can figure out any way to angle something down chain-wise so it looks like it's holding it up. No, that's not what I meant. Maybe do something over it or something, maybe. Alright, I need to be down much further than this. though. OK. 
Okay, I like that. And it goes to the goes to both sides. I like that. All right, that works out. It's got some thickness to it. Now we need to see what I want to do with if I want to do anything as some kind of a support structure. Okay. Man, that's a long way down there. Um, I suppose I could just do... What do we have for railings that would work? I would like I think I think I want to try copper. The copper railings I think would look nice. Make make it, you know, f fancy looking. Yeah, cop copper fence, excuse me. Stone's nice too. Let's try that as well. We'll see, we'll see what we like. I think I definitely need to uh, go up. Like maybe that is a support column. Mid, uh, mid way support column that ugh, goes all the way vertical comes all the way down and it just happens to have a little uh, entrance for a balcony I think that would work really nicely alright copper what do we think All right, let's look at them this way. Well, let me zoom in. Okay, fine. So if we want to go just like this, Uh, yep. I'm gonna need to do something more than that. Damn. Okay. I can do... Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I can do blocks of stone at the end. And let's do it in... Yep, same material. Let me pick this up. Okay. center would look nicer aesthetically but it give you less less space let's let's take it out a little bit so we get more space to walk around all right it's a sweet little balcony let's go look at it from the outside nice looking I think that's decently fancy then we'll just finish the the uh, red and we'll, we'll put that detail in it right there that scroll detail
this, and it's basically going to be this whole thing right here. I don't know about basically, it's literally going to be that. Perfect. Right, if I put that scroll in it, yeah. Uh, I can start it down there, but I can't put it right there. Okay. That's not exactly how I wanted that to go, but whatever. Alright, so now we're, we've got that down. At least to this level. Probably do, I'm going to have to do something decorative in it. It just looks silly being just a big flat plate. It. Can I reach it all the way? Nice. Alright. So we got the beginning of it. Now let's take a better look at it. it definitely hides the balcony a little bit. Maybe more so than I like. But it, it does break up the wall, because otherwise it's just that big solid wall. So it helps to break it up a little bit. Needs to be... Oh, there you go. It needs to be another beam. You've got the column that runs up, a beam running across the ceiling to give it support. So what I think I will probably do for that reason is I will probably shrink it in one on both sides to thin it out a little bit so it's a little closer that's uh, one two it's five five it's five three in the middle and one on each side and this is eight two four it's eight so I can get it down to six that'll be close enough I think that'll work and then then we'll have another beam going across this which can break up once I get those fixed properly can break those up into two halves. Yep, that'll work. I like that. It's a lot of work, but it'll work. <laughs> I can't reach any of it. Of course not. Okay. So that's about the good height for me. I don't take that off. Let's go there. Yep. 
And that way I can just punch into the other side of the wall. Very easy. But it needs more thickness too. Let's do that block. Yep, it is pretty much that thick too. Okay. That's not even the right... That's so annoying. I'm not even that far from it and I still can't reach it. Alright, we gotta thin this out. No, we don't want to see you naked. Go away. What did I do right there? I chunked a piece out, didn't I? I mean, I guess I should count myself lucky that I'm getting spam, so it so it means I'm I'm moving up in the world, I guess. <laughs> oh, funny. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, lucky for gliders, man. Um, okay. Staircase is a little bit close. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. So now we've got this, and... I like it being that thin. That works much better. We just need to... really get it thick. I think that's the full four, it's full four blocks. Go away spammers, I need more light. There we go. All right, so we can't. So it comes up like that. Wait a minute. Is that three? No, because that's three. It's four. Okay. Because it comes down the same as that. Do bigger block. Oh wait, I can't reach these, right? Yep, not quite high enough. Well, shoot. That's fine. So then we come off of it. Oh, I didn't have the reveal going across, did I? I only had it going up. I could do that and change this too. I always I did think that looked a little silly having the two pieces out of it there. I could change that. Another thing I could do I do like the black though. I could one run bead one bead all the way down. 
of the other color. Let's see what I think about that. Switch to this. Well, I think it's ugly. I like the black edge better. Of the the red marble. All right, back to this one. It's weird that the music doesn't play when I'm down in here in the in the hollow hall. Or at least I haven't noticed it playing. Let's make sure those match up before I go too nuts. Looks right. Yep, okay, so I got it right. the cockle doodle doo must be daylight outside all right so we got our beam our second beam to go along with that one and we need down but down we can go to this guy yes sir oh there's the music Oh, daytime versus nighttime. Okay. I just realized something. If I'm doing the beam the same way like I did on that one, I'm going to have to bring this whole balcony much further out. I have to redo that whole damn thing. Whoops. That's all right. And then we do a little bit of this number. Three down.
I don't know how much any of you've actually no cheap viewers for you either. Uh, how ma many of you have s done the hollow halls and actually completed them? This is a real detail in the hollow halls. This is how they actually do the ceiling mounts. I've got uh, tons of screenshots inside them so that I could get the look to be as close to accurate as possible. Obviously, it's not going to be the same because we can't do like the skull piles and a variety of other things, but it's still cool. It still still gives a really good look to it. Okay, so this needs to go in one. This ain't gonna be easy. No, I think that's just that's. I think that was just right. That looks correct. Whoa, 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 whoa Mister. One, two, and one, two. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Oh, wait. Before I jump down there, one, two, three. Yep, right side. Okay, good. Yep, unfortunately, I'm going to have to push that balcony much further out, but that's okay. Now we know what we want to get from it. that side. I cannot reach it without messing it up, so we'll do it this way. deal with the rest of that. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, but if I if I have the balcony as a cutout, well, I mean, it has to be a cutout no matter what. Alright, so it doesn't actually have to come out because it's technically part of the column.
I just gotta figure out how to want to do the detailing then because yeah if it's gonna be in the in the physical column it has to be a cutout you've got to be coming out through it kind of defeats the purpose of having the freaking column to begin with but you know reasons still looks cool so yeah <laughs> didn't did it mess that whole damn thing up didn't uh, finish putting those out the smaller smaller increment It would also be nice if we have eventually get better control over I guess you would call it the delete tool you know I can come in and delete like this but if I take this block and come here right against the edge I can't delete just a vertical section one block deep it wants to delete these panels over there so I'm stuck on one two you know click 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 which is fine. I'm not I'm not that really upset by it, but it is tedious, especially when you have to fix what I'm doing here, which is a big a big job. Okay. So if I'm going to have it cut out of it, do I really want it to change material type? Hmm. Acquiring minds want to know. I feel like it's silly to have it change its material type just for the balcony floor, but we'll see. Barely even tell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something, something different than how it is. Change the way it looks, make the balcony a little bit larger than just the footprint, because I feel like the way it sits now, it's a little, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's a little, 
off. Just seems a little odd as is. It's very bespoke as is, but it just seems unusual. Definitely hinders your view as well. I might have to change that, give it a little bit more space underneath. I still like the idea of having the copper fences in it. Maybe I'll change the cor change the corner and the floor over to the column material. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it is about 12.12, 12, so we've I've streamed for about two and a half hours now. I think we'll call it there for this evening. I will probably just be right back at this tomorrow, same basic time, uh, roughly 10 to 12 Pacific Standard Time. I try to get on a little bit early. I try to stay a little bit late if I can. Uh, like last night, was on for an hour and a half extra. I appreciate people stopping by. Uh, peace out, Jasper. Thanks for coming in. Have a good one, guys.